Okay, well hi everyone. Uh, in the lecture last week I ran out of time to talk about something that was <coughs> a fairly important concept. So if you recall in the lecture it was we were talking about drawing and how to draw, how to use the setup and the draw method, how to use um, the vertex commands to sort of basically create our dot to dot drawings and we ended up by doing a little example that let us um, draw a many-sided shape so we wrote a little function that would allow us to draw a shape um, that had an arbitrary number of sides and if you recall we used our year 8 maths to, um, to figure that out and where I ran out of time was uh, when I started talking about transformations so let's just recap a little bit. Let's find the code that we ended up with um, in our draw polygon example. So here it is, hopefully it looks familiar we wrote a little draw polygon function that when we passed in the number of sides of the polygon we wanted to draw three to draw a triangle, four to draw a square, five to draw a pentagon etc we passed in that and we passed in the radius of the shape, the distance from the center to the outside this little um, function would um, plot the uh, appropriate vertices and then join them up to draw a shape so if we run this as we've got it set up right now, we are drawing a pentagon, a shape with 500, si 500 sides, with five sides, uh, 200 pixels uh, across. Sorry, 200 pixels from the center to the outside of the triangle. <laughs> of the pentagon, of the pentagon. Uh, not having a good day today. So there's our, there's our code and there's the pentagon that we um, draw. So the question I've got here in the code is how can we modify this to easily draw it anywhere we like? So um, at the moment we're kind of manually adding half the width of the screen and half the height of the screen to our X and Y coordinates in order to draw this pentagon in the middle of the screen. If I comment those lines out and run the code, what happened to our pentagon? It's now still drawing there, but it's actually drawing around zero, zero. So, and that's the top left corner of our screen. So we're only seeing kind of the, the bottom little part of our pentagon. So that's why in this code we had to kind of manually, to every X and every Y coordinate, um, we had to manually add half the width of the screen and half the height of the screen um, so that instead of drawing the pentagon around that zero zero point at the top left hand side of the screen we are actually drawing it around the middle of our window so we get the pentagon where we want it so that's fine but what if we want to um, draw our polygon in different parts of the screen. We don't always want it to be in the center, maybe we want to put it um, in lots of different places on the screen. Um, if that's the case we have to manually kind of uh, offset our x and y variables every single time and it turns out that this is a bit boring, a bit tedious and it also leads to some, um, it's also quite error prone when your graphics get more complicated. So in essence it usually works out better to draw everything around the zero zero point and then translate our zero zero point to be elsewhere on the screen. What do I mean by that? I will show you. Draw polygon translate. Let's make myself a bit smaller so I appear on the screen. Uh, Okay, so here we have our almost exactly the same code again, except you'll notice that down here 
I have now no longer adding half the width of the screen and half the height of the screen to our X and Y coordinates. Instead, what I'm doing, I have this little magic uh, command up here, translate, width divided by two, height divided by two, um, up here before I call my draw polygon method. So draw polygon is drawing our pentagon around zero, zero, but before we draw it, we're translating half the width of the screen, half the height of the screen. Let's run it first to see what happens. Okay, so we're drawing our pentagon in the middle of the screen. But why is that? It's because the translate method here is saying translate our zero, zero point in our coordinate system to instead of being at the top left hand corner of the window, instead be uh, in the middle of the window. So we're translating our zero, zero point of our coordinate system to be halfway across the screen, halfway down the screen, in other words, in the middle of our window. So we translate zero, zero to be there in the middle of our window instead of at the top left, and then we're drawing our polygon. And it therefore appears in the center. If I take out our translate, and then run our method again, we get that same problem as before. We're drawing our pentagon around zero, zero, because zero, zero is the top left of the window up there. We're missing out on um, sort of two thirds of that shape. So just to reiterate what's happening there, let's have a look at this little dodgy Google sketch that I've done. Here's our processing window by default. Um, and let's say our processing window is 640 pixels by 480 pixels. By default, 0, 0 is at the top left, 640, 0 is all the way to the right, 0, 480 is down the bottom left, and 640, 480 is down the bottom right. Okay, so that's all good. Now what happens if I do a translate and I say let's translate our zero zero point to be something like I don't know 120 um, 100. That's moving our zero zero point to be uh, where 120 across and 100 down uh, was previously and so now when we draw anything at zero, zero, it is going to appear on our computer screen somewhere like this. And when we draw something at 640, zero, it's going to appear, well, it won't appear. We won't see it because it'll be drawn off the visible window of the computer or of our processing window. And, if, and likewise, if we draw a point at zero, 480, so our whole coordinate system has shifted across and down when we've, when we've done that translate um, 150, 100. Um, and we can translate any arbitrary number. So what we did before was translate 0, 0 to be um, in the middle of the screen, which in this case would have been translate 320, uh, 240. And so our coordinate system would have looked like this. So what this is highlighting to you, I suppose, is that the coordinate system we can use for drawing and processing and the actual visible window of output um, are kind of separate things and you can translate the coordinate system to, um, to be elsewhere. Okay, so my next question is, how can we modify this little bit of code here, which draws our pentagon? How can we modify it to make our pentagon spin a bit like a bike wheel might spin in the middle of the screen? Well, we could do it the hard way. We could kind of look at our X and Y coordinates in here and we could say, okay, well, I guess if we want to move the, um, the first point of the pentagon, if we want to move that to be, uh, a bit further around this way, 
uh, we need to like maybe we add sort of uh, 50, you know 50 pixels to the x coordinate and we add the we take away 30 pixels on the y coordinate that would shift it up a little bit and then the next time we drew it we'd uh, you know subtract another set of uh, another we'd add and subtract another number to move the the point of the, the first point of the pentagon in a different place and we could figure out that way by sort of adding each time we uh, drew our um, a point uh, of our uh, pentagon, we could manually add x and y coordinates to it to sort of shift it. Um, and we could do that and that, that would possibly work, but that would be quite tedious and error prone and for every different kind of shape we drew, we'd have to really do our maths um, in a different way. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just sort of say, okay, take that shape and rotate it. Well, yes, that would be nice. And luckily, processing provides us with a way of doing that. And that method is called rotate. Except what it doesn't actually rotate our shape for us as such, it actually rotates our coordinate system. So just as we were translating our coordinate system before and moving it, moving our zero, zero point to different places, we can rotate our coordinate system. So let's say I rotate our coordinate system by 45 degrees, or as close as I can get to it, that'll do. If we rotate our coordinate system by 45 degrees, now 0, 0 is there. 0, 480 would be down here, still off screen and out of view. 640, 0 will be there. 640, 480 will be down there. And if I drew a, a pixel at, um, you know, 100, 100, it would appear somewhere here on the screen. So not only have we translated our coordinate system for drawing, we've rotated it as well. And what this means is that anything we draw around 0, 0, if we, trans if we rotate our coordinate system, um, the shape that we're drawing will appear to rotate on our screen as well. So. Let me open up a little bit of code to demonstrate how that might work to make an, an, an animation of a pentagon which um, rotates around the middle of the screen. Let me run it first to show you what it does. All right, pretty awesome. So we've now animated our pentagon. So let's take a look at what's happening. We have setup method, as you know, that uh, is the very first thing that happens when processing sketches start to run is the setup method gets called. Um, so we set the size of the screen there. And then in our draw method, which as you would recall, gets called about 60 times a second as your processing sketch is running. We, first of all, clear the screen make the background um, black. We then translate our coordinate system to make the zero, zero point at the middle of the screen, as we've done in previous sketches. Here, we rotate our coordinate system by a given rotation angle. And when we start off, we've, initiali we've initialized our rotation angle to be zero. So the first time we do this, it's going to not rotate anything at all. It's going to rotate it by zero degrees, but uh, later on it will start to rotate it by some amount. Then we draw our polygon, our five-sided shape, and then we increment the rotation angle. So the first time we run it, our rotation angle is zero. We then increment our rotation angle to make it one, and then because our draw method is called uh, 60 times a second, every time we redraw our processing window, we go back up here, clear the background, translate to the halfway, uh, to the middle of the screen again, rotate, this time by one degree, draw our polygon again, and make our rotation angle two degrees, and go back to the beginning, translate, rotate by uh, two degrees, draw the polygon, Rotate by three degrees, three degrees, draw the polygon, etc., etc. 
hopefully you can see what's going on there. It means that every time our draw method is called, we're rotating our coordinate system by um, one more degree than it was rotated previously. So that's why our pentagon appears to spin. So from the point of view of our drawing code in the draw polygon method, nothing needs to change. We're, as far as it's concerned, we're still drawing our shape around 0, 0. But because we're changing our coordinate system and rotating it and translating it, um, we can achieve these, this animation and move our shapes around the screen um, comparatively easily without having to worry about changing our drawing code. So quite a useful technique.